March 14th. The reading is entitled Charity. Breathe, oh, breathe thy loving spirit into every troubled breast. Let us all in thee inherit. Let us find the promised rest. Take away open to sinning. Alpha and Omega be. And of faith as its beginning. Set on at liberty. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that thou break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh? Isaiah 58 verses 6 and 7 Truth, precious truth, is sanctifying in its influence. The sanctification of the soul by the operation of the Holy Spirit is the implanting of Christ's nature in humanity. It is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ revealed in character and the grace of Christ brought into active exercise in good works. Thus the character is transformed more and more perfectly after the image of Christ in righteousness and true holiness. There are broad requirements in divine truth stretching out into one line after another of good works. The truths of the gospel are not unconnected. United, they form one string of heavenly jewels, as in the personal work of Christ, and like threads of gold, they run through the whole of Christian work and experience. Any neglect on the part of those who claim to be followers of Christ, a failure to relieve the necessities of a brother or sister, who is bearing the yoke of poverty and oppression is registered in the books of heaven as shown to Christ in the person of his saints. What a reckoning the Lord will have with many, very many, who present the words of Christ to others but fail to manifest tender sympathy and regard for a brother in the faith who is less fortunate and successful than themselves. Many will allow a brother to struggle along unaided under adverse circumstances and in thus doing they give to one precious soul the impression that they are thus representing Christ. It is no such thing. Jesus, who was rich for our sake, became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich, that he might save the sinner he withheld not his own life. The heart of Christ is ever touched with human woe. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.